what's up y'all it's your boy king man before we get into this video this video is brought to you by bet us i got a better deal for you guys up to 150 percent up to your first three deposits up to two thousand dollars it's a better deal than it's been in previous weeks you guys got to use this promo code in order to get those deals make sure you guys go and sign up at bet us man get yourselves i mean it's some odds going on right now the lions are top five to win the, the super bowl which is crazy to say for us lions fans we're not used to this type of stuff right make sure you guys go to bet us place your bets get ready for the regular season we are a couple of days away from sunday night football be ready in the meantime let's get to it all right lions fans so we are officially here we are here nfl football is being played today we got dan campbell in this series of applebee's commercials it don't get no better than right now we are officially back we are we are back you know and i'm so excited right now i am i've been that was the longest off season <laughs> in history for me man since i've been a lions fan i've never been this excited right especially after what we did last season i mean this season everyone is laser sharp focus on super bowl super bowl super bowl <sighs> well it starts week one versus the rams lions versus rams in prime time matthew stafford jared goff jared goff mcveigh matthew stafford kirby joseph however you want to shake it <laughs> it's just going to be a crazy matchup uh when you look at you know some of the injury reports throughout the week things are looking great for the lions um Re reader is Man, there's a real possibility that Reader just may play. When you listen to what Dan Campbell has been saying, um, when you see the footage of Reader out there and practicing, and when you hear what he's been doing, there's a legit chance that they could play him. If they didn't play him, I wouldn't be angry because they've been doing a lot of advertising of Onzerike. So you know, um, you know, I I'll trust it. Right? It is week one. We all know that the battles are mostly won when you get to the midpoint of that season going into the latter. That's where the real football is played. Right now, you, uh, a couple of hiccups here and there, you know, some adjustments. Um, we see it from good teams all the time. So, I expect the Lions to come out with high energy, though. Simply because of, you know, the way things went down last year. This is the rematch obviously but some things were said like i mentioned with matthew stafford uh talking on kirby joseph being a dirty player i know that defense is going to be charged up they want to pick matthew stafford off uh, but when you look at the ram side of the football as far as injuries they got some holes in the offensive line uh they also just dropped down another starter uh when it comes to the defense at corner today so you know, it's just not it's not looking good for them. They're not the same team. Um, they're obviously missing some guys. Some guys retired, some guys left. Um, but they still have Matthew Stafford, Nakua, Cooper Cup. So there's always danger in playing the Rams when you have a mastermind like McVay calling the plays as well. I don't think the Lions are going to over uh, think this game. I think they're going to go into this game prepared and ready. Uh, we may see some rust in maybe the first half. Uh, they haven't had an opportunity to play in preseason, and, you know, and, and stuff like that when it comes to the starters. But I expect them, these guys to, to get after it. I really do. Um, a lot of anticipation with this game. What a game to start your rookie career if you tarry on Arnold. Like, you got to deal with that duo at receiver and that type of quarterback you know he's going to try to pick on terry on just to see what it is that's just what what you know starting quarterbacks do they i mean you got, i got a rookie over here so i'm gonna go after the rookie i don't think i want to go after davis i've seen him before <laughs> but having him 
you know, going up against guys like this right away is a good thing for him. You want him to get out there, toss him into the fire and see what you really got. And, um, you know, he's been impressive in camping and, you know, uh, preseason practices. But here's here's the real deal now. Let's see what we really have out there. Um, when you move a guy like Branch into the secondary. <laughs> yeah, be prepared. I feel sorry for whoever is going to get hit by Branch this game. Branch coming at you with a full head of steam is not it's not a good life choice. <laughs> so uh, there's going to be some some oohs and eyes and some hurt out there. Um, but he's been nothing but a playmaker since he's been here. And I expect him to continue to do that. Um, I'm predicting them this game to pick off Matthew Stafford twice. Uh, simply because of the pressure that they're going to be able to provide up front. I think Matthew Stafford is going to be trying to get the ball out super quick and also running for for his life. I think that's uh that's what I'm expecting. I don't expect the Rams to be able to run the football on us. Teams just don't run the football well against us. And if we if Reader plays, you can forget about it. <laughs> you can forget about it. Uh, you just don't run the football on us. That's just not that's not what's going to happen. So, um, yeah, who's the X factor? Of this game for the Detroit Lions. Who else could it be? Besides Jamison Williams. Like he changes everything. If the Jamison Williams that we've been seeing in camp. And in preseason practices. Torching and running by everybody. If we see that Jamison Williams. The new uh, grown up. And more mature. More quick. If that's even possible. Jamison Williams is better route running. Jameson Williams you're in trouble <laughs> the Rams are in trouble they are in complete trouble um, man he makes everything better for everybody else on the offense obviously too so you know uh, Jameer Gibbs is going to be featured more this season too I have Jameer Gibbs on my fantasy team I think Jameer Gibbs is really going to have that type of season I really do that offensive line is even better um, if you ask me, I just I expect him to have a big season, more snaps for him, more opportunities. And I think he's going to take that advantage. Um, big year, big year for those two, though. That's that. That is the, you know, the the lightning and thunder right now. That's what I'm looking at right now. Um, man, Laporta is going to be Laporta. St. Brown's going to be St. Brown. But those two are the guys that's going to take it to the next level, which is crazy to say because our offense already, to me, was pretty much unstoppable when everybody was healthy. So Ben Johnson just got toys, and, and you know, Jared Goff is, I mean, he can throw the ball anywhere, <laughs> anywhere. Then you bring in some veterans, man, to, you know, provide that big body presence. So we'll see who you know, rises from the ashes in that situation. Um, when you're looking on the Ram side of the football, though, you know, of course they got the Michigan guy over there at running back. Um, you know, I wish all the best things in the world from Corum. Just not against my squad. <laughs> I need that not to happen um, for none of their running backs over there at all. <laughs> I need us to shred this this team and, and put that message across the, the league. Like, listen, we're the hunted now, but we still play hungry football. We're still going to get after it. We're still coming after you. So uh, anyway, on a lighter note, Dan Campbell, <laughs> man, 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 our head coach is a great actor. Who would have thought? <laughs> Who would have thought? Those commercials are absolute, I mean, just hilarious, by the way. Um, but he did such an excellent job. Such an excellent job. So marketable, NFL. So marketable. <laughs> you know, to, to have a winning coach like that, you know, in, in commercials, NFL. I mean, that's a great thing. That's a great thing. You know, I've seen one of the clips with him way back with the Cowboys in the commercial. It's wild. <laughs> something that we as Lions fans didn't even know existed but um, man he did his thing on those commercials 
that was very very entertaining so there's more to come it's a series of commercials so be prepared for that um but listen man hey again make sure you guys go over to the sponsor bet us place your odds i'm telling you some crazy bets going on this season crazy bets going on the season um also i want you guys to go in the comment section and tell me who's your x factor of the game who's the guy that's going to take us over the top um and who's the guy you most worry about on the opposite side of the football is it you know puka nakua is it cooper cup i mean who's that guy that you're fearful of when it comes to the opposite side of the football but we're here we're here so get excited uh get ready and uh man i'll see you guys for the pregame <laughs> craziness it's about to go down peace <laughs>